right guys, I'm just going to give you a rundown on the gear we're taking up the Cape. First of all, we'll start with the boat. It's 6.5 metre alley plate. This boat's not the normal boat. It's, um, it's got a loading ramp at the front here for the quad to be just driven straight up onto the deck. So when the quad's on, we can put the door down, which just slides straight in, stops all the water coming up onto the deck and um, getting all over our camping gear. So we're going to move on to the, onto the uh, canopy now. The canopy's been made extra heavy duty to be able to handle the tinny up on the roof. So we put the tinny up on the roof when we're traveling along the water. So that's out of the way. When we get to our spot, we lower it down into the water and then we've got the best of both worlds. We can get up the back reaches of the river with a tinny and we can fish the reefs with a big boat. Moving on to the trailer. We've got a heavy duty on-road trailer rated at three and a half ton. Moving on to the boat, we've got a six metre alley plate. Now this boat's made for this purpose. It's um, extra wide, it's 2.4 metres wide. We've got a loading ramp at the front for the quad to just go straight up on. The boat draws about half a metre and is ideal for getting in over those shallow sandbars up the Cape. Now moving on to the truck, we've got a Toyota Land Cruiser Troopy 2006 factory turbo. Troopies are the ultimate touring vehicle. When traveling up the Cape, I need a truck I can trust, especially traveling with all this weight. It's got plenty of power and sits rock solid on the road. After a lot of preparation, we finally hit the road and start our 3000 kilometer journey to the tip of Cape York. We head up in the dry season. It's the best time to go. We're just about to hit the dirt and it's a good idea to lower the tire pressures on your truck and your trailer. This is so you get a softer ride over the corrugations. The roads are as rough as guts up here, so it's a good idea to take it easy. Taking spares for your truck and your trailer, it's a must. These are some of the harshest roads in Australia. Eager to get to the tip, we drive into the night. We arrived after dark last night, woke the next morning and started getting the boat ready for our trip down the coast. We launched the boat and we were ready to go. Saying goodbye to civilization for a while. We're heading down the coast to some remote rivers. It's great having the option of two boats up here. We use the tinny for fishing the rivers and the big boats for the ocean. It's going to be a slow trip down the coast today. We're going to take it nice and easy.
farming into a river mouth now. It gets pretty choppy across the mouse. So we just try and stay in as close as we can. We're just hugging the coast the whole way down. On the way down the coast, there's a number of sandbars we need to negotiate. We've tucked ourselves right up on the inside of this one, just escaping that outside chop. There's a vast range of wildlife up the Cape, but we do need to be careful. We are in their home. It's been a long day and we still haven't reached our destination. It's looking like we're going to have to do some travelling in the dark. We arrived after dark last night and woke the next morning to a beautiful sunrise. This is going to be home for a while. We've set up camp at the river mouth of this sandy creek. We have access to a number of rivers along the coast and the ocean. Can't wait to get out there. Today we're gonna to go out and chase some uh, Spanish mackerel and some tuna and any other pelagic fish that we can find. We're just going to go for a bit of a trawl out the front here. Um, we're going to use some Halco lures and see how we go. All right, let's go, guys. Okay, what we're looking for today is all the birds hitting the top of the water. And that means there's a big school of bait fish around, and that means all the pelagics are all circling underneath. So let's go and see if we can find some birds and see how we go. Not long into our morning's fishing, we get our first hook up. Barracuda, we don't want him. Big teeth, no good to eat. So let's throw him back, eh? Spear him back in the water, good. One, two, three. Look closely and watch the tuna hit the Halco Laser Pro lure. Big sharks circling the boat and trying to take our tuna. Just got this one in the boat, the shark come up and took a big swoop at it. Just missed it and then I just reefed in the boat, no net. Got to get him in as quick as possible around here because the sharks will take anything. One thing about up the Cape, 
there's a lot of sharks and trying to get your fish in the boat before they strike can be difficult sometimes. The sharks are pretty smart up here. They follow your boat when you're trawling because they know they can get a free feed. It was time to head in and drop the little guy back on the beach to his mum. Coming a bit closer here now, uh, this morning, we're going to target some um, reef species, some red emperor, or some, some grassies, or tusk fish. Um, yeah, see if we can get some nice reef species this morning. First fish off the bottom, a small stripey. It's a nursery for fish here. Put him back. Beautiful looking fish. We've only been anchored up for about five minutes. We've caught a stripey and a trout. So let's get some more fish in this boat. Another fish in the boat. This one's known as a tusk fish, also known as a parrot. This is what we're after. The burly on the bottom is starting to work, and the bigger fish are moving in. Got a small red emperor. So it's a beautiful looking fish. Let's go measure him up. That's it for this morning. We've had a good morning fishing. We're going to head back in now. We arrived back on shore and I noticed a good size muddy in the shallows. Nice muddy, just to top it off after that morning's fishing. That's the entree. Just a nice muddy for entree to go with um, the Red Emperor and the other fish we caught this morning. Tell me what you like about fishing. Um, eating tuna and smoked mackerel. And what do you got there? Tuna! Sammy. Is that good? JB loves his sashimi.
We're settling in quite nicely, enjoying the warmer weather, escaping the winter back at home. Nice being out in the bush, cooking on the open fire. And it's nice fishing. It is nice fishing, isn't it, mate? Mm. Oh, this one's a beauty, this one. We've come down the beach to get a few coconuts. I haven't got my climbing boots on, I'm not going to climb the tree today. But um, you can normally find a couple of ones that have recently dropped. It's got a bit of um, a bit of juice in it. So I'll go and open it up and see um, if we can have a feed. There's a colourful range of shells to collect. Keisha enjoys her shell collecting. Sunsets, Cape York sunsets, those ones. Being so far away from home for a long time, it's good to have a few comforts of home so we bring the satellite telly with us and it's good to watch the footy on a Saturday Arvo and it's good viewing for the child as well for his all his kids shows as well keeps him busy so yeah it's kicking back and watching the footy today okay what we've got here is a boar we've put in a boar just at the back of our camp just to get our fresh water. Um, the water's very clean, it's drinkable. It's really good to have this at the back of camp here because it saves us going to the fresh water, which is a fair distance um, on the quad bike and we can waste a bit of fuel doing that. So we've got endless supply of fresh water here. Um, all that we've done here is we've put in a 90 mil pipe, storm water, We've gone down probably about four or five metres down and what we've done is we've just got a submersible pump attached and just a hose and we're pumping out and just filling up our 20 litre tubs so we can have a nice shower at the end of every day and get everything done with the water we've got. That's how clean it is, crystal clear. We love being in such a remote place and having some good quality family time. Sitting around the fire in the late afternoon, watching the sun set over the ocean. The sunsets up here are amazing. The sun sinks into the western sky. Next week, we take a day trip down the coast to fish one of my favourite rivers. We head right up into the back reaches of the river 
chasing some mangrove jack and some other species. Thanks for watching Unknown Road Adventures.